What up, though? What up, though? Turk843. Hey, Africa, Mozambique. That's dope. How do you feel about Big Meech and T? Are y'all watching um, BMF? I was just saying, my hair is getting yellow. My hair grows so fast, man. Um, Are y'all watching BMF? I, I, I watched the first couple of episodes. Hey, what you think about it? Have you gotten into it? He said, you know, my husband's a man of few words. What's up, Just Date Girl? What's up, friend? Are y'all following my friend, Just Date Girl? Even though she's a, a big, famous-ass person now, so her ass won't come on my little low-budget-ass show. You said what, babe? Oh, um, uh, Stacy, your brother said he saw you on Martin. <laughs> Somebody said, King B said you about to binge-watch. I started watching. Somebody said it's okay. I just want the car thing that holds your phone. I'm holding my phone, sweetheart. I'm a producer, so I know how to hold cameras. I'm a producer. You guys, I'm about to go to Detroit and, and shoot a movie. I'm very excited about this movie. I am just one of the co-stars of this movie. This is not one that I... I know I can't stop playing with my hair. This is not one that I... um wrote or had anything to do with my girlfriend Jessica Caremore who's an amazing poet y'all might know Jessica she won on the Apollo a bunch of times but Jessica wrote the movie um and I'm really excited we start shooting this month you guys I'm getting back to my talent so if y'all saw me on Martin or living single or you know one of them things or my short film I'm getting back into it um somebody said um they from Detroit and they can't get into it I want to know how real it is you know what i'm saying you hear about bmf you know brandy davis was on the front of what is that shaking around oh brandy davis was on um from the bottom up so you know i got i can't wait to talk to brandy and see what she thinks about the whole bmf thing i'm from atlanta know nothing about bmf shoot bmf was i remember going to a bmf party um music business politics my girls Hannah and Laura back in the day. That's when Atlanta was hot, when all the parties was off the chain, litty, as y'all young people call it. Stacy says something. What you say, Stacy? I saw a comment back here. I just want the thing that holds the mirror. Can't get into it. I'm from Detroit. She said, Thank you, brother Len Lenny means you get a little check. Yeah, Stacy, you're gonna get one of them checks for three dollars and twenty five cents. I actually got a check for under a dollar one time, y'all residual checks some residual checks be so low i'm like it costs more to have the paper and the ink than to write the damn check what else um i have i love to have you hold yourself still and capture the power so that you have a positive conversations i'm a, what a poet i love to have to hold yourself still oh, okay i'm sorry i can't read good um, I'm from the tree who was the first person. Oh, okay, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't, y'all, what can I say? Um, so what else, you guys? Oh, have y'all noticed that the bots are, um, I mean, not the bots, the algorithms, is, they own some shit. Like, I'm like, damn, every time you mention your own platform or, or tell people to subscribe on some of these platforms, your reach just be like, crazy low i heard people talking about it now i'm actually experiencing it i'm like damn you know they as long as you posting it on instagram it's all good but the minute you start trying to direct people to you know outside places it gets real funny you start to be able to reach fewer and fewer people and you know i'm all about us building our own stuff but i understand that that's hard for people to really grass because everybody want to be involved in the shit that's hot and very few people want to get involved i know it's something back there shaking it's driving me nuts i don't think that's what it is um everybody wants to be involved in something that's hot 
very few people want to be involved in the process of building something and creating something and making it happen. And it's interesting because um, I find that social media really reveals a lot about people who really are willing to do the groundwork from the bottom up, no pun intended, and, and the people who are just kind of like at the party because it's a party, but don't want to have shit to do with the work that it takes to get to the party. And I'm just discovering a lot, a lot of folks. Somebody said BMF isn't capturing, captivating to me like power, but I'm still going to continue watching it to see how it goes. Yes, you know, I haven't been, I watched the first episode and like, you know, for me it was dope because I saw a lot of the stuff that uh, reminded me of home and like all of what up though, which what up though about to become, you know, everybody saying what up, gonna be saying what up though now. But I still didn't, it didn't grab me just yet but i'm gonna try to binge it um i'm look what is that i'm loving this salt and pepper i know right there's nothing i stopped trying to color it i was trying to color it and it's like what what's the point y'all see that plus i'm old as hell i'm every single bit of um yeah something back here shaking and driving us crazy you guys uh-oh i'm sorry <laughs> you don't want to be okay it's something back there shaking like some vitamins or something that's driving me nuts. What does BMF stand for and what does it mean? I think, I think, I wasn't there. I think it stands for Black Mafia Family. And I think it means that it's a crew, it's a group of guys that are like, you know, was in the, in the game. Instagram has most certainly changed the algorithms. There are a lot of people and pages that I can no longer and regularly see on my timeline. Right. I'm like, damn, just because we trying to build, which is why it's so important for all y'all who are watching right now to go click on worth, W-I-R-F-T-V.com, worthtv.com, because we're building something dope over there. That's women in reality, film, TV, and music. I've been trying to get more women in reality, film, TV, and music to come build with me. But you know how I go. People got to see us something hot first. Then when they see it's hot, then it's like it's all good. So I'm not afraid to do the hard work of trying to build this shit from the bottom up. Um, I've always done that. And one thing about me, it's going to always come to fruition. Might not come on that exact date, but it's going to come right on time. Because you can't be the person that never quits. And um, I'm not a quitter. So I'm excited about this uh, Diary of a Diva show, you guys. I'm documenting so much of the shit that I don't really talk about in social media because um, I'm letting my lawyers and my attorneys handle all that crazy shit that I'm going through but you're going to see it um, It is. I've been kind of keeping it to myself every now and then a little, a little piece of it to jump out but um, y'all thought that Kelly Price shit was cloud chasing where do you get a load of what's coming next and I'm just going to tell y'all that and that's as real as I can be with you because one thing I'm tired of is people thinking they can just take my shit and not pay me for it. That's the shit right there that gets on my last nerve. And I saw earlier today that a lot of, um, they're about to, from what I understand, allegedly, because I got to watch what I say because it's folks watching and waiting for me to do some dumb shit, but I'm way too old and grown for that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, but I will say, Allegedly, a bunch of people who work in the film industry here are about to strike. And they finna strike because they're not getting paid properly. Um, and that shit is foul. So I can't imagine working as a crew member and working behind the scenes on a film project or a TV project that pays you a shitload of money or pays the people who created a shitload of money and you as the person who is working behind the scenes you're not getting paid so film workers are about to strike if they don't get their shit together and start paying people what they are worth worth <laughs> and i am about to go ham in a real way on fucks who keep think they can keep taking much and not paying me for it for real you know, it's like, I'm one of those folks that's like, don't start none, won't be none, right? You, 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 you try to be as positive as you possibly can. You try to, and that's, let me, let me say this. This is so important for me to say. People think because you take the high road, trying to live in 
the space of Michelle Obama, you know, stay elevated. Don't let people bring you to no lower astral frequency that you won't sue the shit out of people or cuss somebody out about disrespecting you. It's so hard. It's so difficult to constantly take the high road because people think because you do that, that they can get away with, with you all the time. Understand? Try not to cuss so much because I want these algorithms to shut my shit down. Stuff down. Sorry. But when I tell you on behalf of all the artists and the creatives and people who work their whole lives to accomplish a goal and, and work their asses off to get somewhere in an industry that's already not paying you enough. Like I said, these folks about to start striking. There it is. It's already not paying you enough for people to consistently test your patience and disrespect you by just taking your shit making lots and lots of money off of it and for some reason with me it just keeps happening as if people don't understand that I won't all the way sue the out of your ass it just keeps happening and I think it's happening with me because maybe God and the universe knows that I'm just one that's not going to sit back and let you piss on me and tell me that it's raining. It's some bullshit, flat out. It's some bullshit, and the people who stole my shit, this very popular television series, right? I ain't said a name, because I got real good attorneys, and they've made it clear to me to let them handle it. But it becomes very frustrating when you work your whole life and your whole career to make great things happen, to try to create great content that not just benefits you, but everybody who works and has a job as a result of your creativity, right? The creative ideas that come out of this head have actually worked to benefit a lot of people outside of just me. But for some strange motherfucking reason, people want to keep just taking my shit and disrespecting me trying to piss on me and tell me that it is raining. I'm not here for it. I'm going to fight with everything that I have. And it's expensive, you guys. It is It is. It is difficult. Um, I understand why people don't do this shit because it's hard. It's hard on your family. When they did that shit to me on R&B Divas and created that series, what was that series called? Hollywood Divas? Oh, this is nothing like R&B Divas. It's nothing. It's, it's not the same thing. When it's the series that I pitched to them that they just decided to get somebody else to produce. When I look up every single time, whether it's Divas and Cocktails and Cocktails and this and that, whatever it is, um, I, I'm consistently seeing my intellectual properties and ideas um, co-opt and basically just copyright infringement 101 all day. And I'm sick of it. And I've tried to be nice about it, but it really ain't no nice way of fighting for your shit. It really is no nice way. So everybody who had this whole, oh, she's cloud chasing because of this Kelly Price shit. And I know my team was like, don't ever mention it again. But it's just so funny to me because you ain't seen. I'm, I'm chasing for the clout of the shit that I created that I am not getting credit for. Things that I worked on almost what? What, 15, 17 years or some shit, babe? Yeah, 15, 17 years. And all of a sudden, ding, you know, mm -mm. so I have spent the better part, it's been what, almost a year that we've been trying to be quiet and amicable and consider the fact that, you know, we don't want to see black women out here in these streets fighting and arguing over money, intellectual property, all of that. But nice only goes so far, y'all can't be nice in this business that's the one thing I, I i hope that all young creatives let me say this to everybody who is creating content and trying to get into this industry y'all got me on one today i was supposed to be on and off of this but while y'all listening i'm just gonna say it i know i got my detroit hat on today it's it's extra good right now but young creatives you know i know that people would would have you believe that being famous and being popular and being popping and being rich and getting paid is like the thing to do. That's that bullshit. 
the thing to do is have ownership of your intellectual property. The thing to do is to be able to license for generations the works that you create, right? The people who own the music, the, the publishing, that own all of these movies we watch and that are going to these streaming services, the people, these people are making billions of dollars. Lemmy Plummer um, from Zeus is onto something so big. He said his company's valuation is going to be at almost a billion dollars. And it's going to be at almost a billion dollars because ownership and licensing is something that goes on forever. This is something that you can feed your family off of generation after generation after generation. And these algorithms don't like me talking about it. These other people who own these platforms don't like me talking about it. And the motherfuckers that took my shit without paying me definitely don't like me talking about it. But at this point it is what it is because our young creative industry is basically being pimped played it's slave labor the amount of money that you get paid for the intellectual properties that you create and the only way that it's going to stop is if people who understand who have been there who have lost who have not been educated on how to maintain their shit you know, us OGs, like we talked about in the live last night on YouTube, those of us who really have been in this business for a while and seeing ourselves lose everything and scrape and scramble to try to regain everything until we start being transparent and real about the shit and we start telling people what's really going on in this industry and how foul this shit really is and how ain't nobody really making no money. It's a damn shame that almost every Prince, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, you know, all these artists, I heard Tina Turner, just somebody calling me to tell me to stop talking so much, but I don't give a fuck. Ooh, did I just say that? Oh, there we go. Um, but you look at all of these artists who, the, their legacies go to these corporations and these big companies that really don't give about the community that these artists impact every day, right? Somebody was telling me, and I got to get more into the article, that Tina Turner just sold, did she sell her whole catalog? Her, her, her catalog and her likeness, all of that, for like $50 million. And there were some people in her thread that was like, oh, Tina, that was worth $500 million. And they're absolutely freaking lutely correct. And until we learn the value of holding on to our intellectual property rights and our legacies, we are constantly going to see legendary artists undervalued, underpaid, and not given the respect and the lifelong generational wealth that we all deserve. Because you know this content that we're creating is fire. You know this shit is, th th that's why they got them 360 deals. Okay, let me, I'm t okay, let me stop talking so much because y'all ain't ready for it. Um, but we're going to talk real honest and very real and what I've been talking about as it relates to these people that just took my shit and decided that they were just going to make a hit show out of it. And once again, leave me out. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I got such a strong team that's ready. I don't give a shit how it turns out. I'm going to fight with everything that I have because I am sick of it. And I'm not just fighting for myself. I'm fighting for everybody who's afraid to fight. I'm fighting for everybody who doesn't have the money to fight. I don't either, but I'm working my ass off every single day to make sure that I do and that I have every resource available to me to fight for my rights. I am hiring the best of the best to make sure that I am fighting for my rights. And I'm documenting every step of the journey so that the next creative who is afraid to fight for what they created, to fight for what they own, to fight for their intellectual property that's going to make somebody millions and possibly billions of dollars so the next person is more equipped to deal with it. I don't give a shit. Honestly, I don't care how, what the end game go. I'm going to win. No doubt about it, I'm going to win. But unlike the last time, I had to go and fight for my intellectual property rights and my best friend died. And I just didn't know what the hell I was doing. I'm so ready. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to this one. Get your popcorn, get ready. It is going to shock the shit out of a lot of people. 
you think you know, but you have no idea because I ain't said shit. But you're going to see this journey. And you're going to see every step that I take, which we've been filming for the last year. Every step that I take, every step that I've taken to fight for what is right. We hear people talking about equality and transparency and taking the lead and making sure that black women are covered in this area and that area and still not doing right by us and that's some bullshit and it's not going to just be a cliche or something that you say it is going to have to be something that you do as relates to me and what I'm trying to do creatively for all the young creatives that deserve more so anyway all right we're pulling up to the destination thank you guys for watching if you want to see more of this, because you know Instagram and all them places ain't going to really let it live like that, then y'all need to go to Worth, W-I-R-F TV, Worth, Women in Reality Film TV and Music, right? I'm going to share this story. I'm going to share every detail of it in Diary of a Diva. And it's going to teach somebody something. It's teaching me every day. Wouldn't you say we're learning a lot? Yes, ma'am. We're learning a lot. And I'm so grateful that I have a soldier by my side. And a great team of lawyers who ain't no muckin' joke. And we're ready for war. I've been nice for almost a year, right? Too almost long. a year. Too long. Too long. Too long. We've been nice for too long. So now we just gonna handle business. And unfortunately, that business is that we are going to have to be loud and strong. Chase some clout. We're gonna chase. <laughs> Then we gonna chase some, some some clout for sure. Um, mm -mm. Y'all don't even have y'all have no idea. This is really gonna be a thing. So, shout out to everybody who tuned into this live. Please make sure what you say, just day girl. She speaks live November seventh. Yes, yeah, Stacy's gonna be on. She speaks live November seventh. Stacy knows all my all my my friends and folks know. Hey, 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 Michael, how are you? Let me say hi to some of these people. How are you? What's up, beautiful people? Oh, yes. I know, y'all. She been on one today. Uh, <laughs> what's up, y'all? Hey, beautiful people. I am from Detroit. You didn't know? Yeah. So, any young creatives, um, you should watch this journey. I can't get... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hola, what's up? I'm not driving now. Come on now. Who? Come on now. Yes, I cut my hair. Yes, I did. That's why I can't keep my hands out of it. Um, now, I wouldn't be driving and holding the phone and running my fingers through my hair. Stop it. Anyway. Okay. Um, WorthTV.com. That's where we're going to see. Who is this? We got your back. I know. Thank you all. Listen. Oh, oh, oh. Something really important. Time join the cruise. Brownstone's going to be on a time joiner cruise. We got Milwaukee coming up. We got Texas coming up. If you guys aren't following at official Brownstone, please make sure that you follow us because we got some really great shows. Look, I done talked so much about all the, the foul shit that I have to do and, and the fight that I have to have with these, you know, very wealthy, powerful people. Um, but thank God, let me say this. Thank God for having wealthy powerful friends who can have your back when you are fighting wealthy powerful people thank god for that amen thank you jesus for that right because we's gonna fight either way but it's a beautiful thing when you need to call on a favor and you can call um on on equally as powerful people to have your back you know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody said she finna crash, right? I'm driving and talking at the same time. No, I'm not finna crash, but somebody's finna crash. I'll tell you that. Um, all right, y'all. So she speaks live November 7th. Stacy's gonna be on there. Make sure you guys subscribe to worthtv.com because um I'm not gonna put all of that business out in these um IG streets, but I'm definitely documenting everything on our channel. And um, y'all will be able to see it all there. So please, WIRF, W-I-R-F TV. We're building something great over there. Um, and we're fighting. 
Y'all want to see a fight? That's what I noticed. Everybody likes to see fights, right? Because y'all like that when me and the brat had the little issue and Kelly thing. Y'all love that drama. Well, y'all about to see your fair share of drama coming up very soon on WorthTV.com. Because I know how to do it now. I'm going to give y'all that drama. But before I give y'all that drama, I'm going to give y'all that real shit that's helping us to find these missing women and girls. The real stuff that's helping our, our nonprofit move through and navigate, you know, a world where people don't really give a shit about people. Right? Um, I got some folks that want to come in. Actually, truth in all honesty, the truth, yes, the truth, that's it. Listen, all you need if you in a battle, all you need is the truth. If you're armed with the truth, that's all that matters. You know, if you're a liar and a thief, then you're going to have issues, right? Um, if you are armed with the truth and you're brave enough to share that truth. Thank you, babe. If you're armed with the truth and you're, and you're brave enough to share that truth. Y'all see me? If you are armed with the truth and you're brave enough to share that truth, all will be well. All right. Okay, about to go. I appreciate everybody for watching. God bless you all.